La Bestione. This is definitely one of a kind. And we're out at Las Vegas Concourse, the Delegance Concourse. And of course, with me, I've got Gary Wales, the man behind this beast. And tell us a little bit about this. And what I'd like to do is maybe get a little tour sure. uh, around. So talk to us more Not about what do we got? Well, this started off life. This is called La Bestione. Let me give you the reason why it's called La Bestione. A friend of mine came over and we were making the very first one on a fire truck platform and we were all excited about it. We were just about done and a friend came over and said, I'm going out for Italian tonight. I said, do me a favor, ask the waiter, emphasis on the waiter, how you stay the beast in Italian. He comes back and says, La Bestione. I spell it. It's so L A capital B E S T I O N I. I said, bitchin. <laughs> so we have everything made, all the marks and everything on it. La Bistioni. And we're at our first car show and we are just busting our buttons. We're all so proud. And there's a big crowd standing around. Never seen anything like it. And uh, just at that point, a little woman comes over. She looks over. She says, How come you made it a female beast? And I said, Pardon me, ma'am? It's she not said, la, it's la. 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 She says, It's supposed to be. I said, What? And she gave me a bollocking for about five minutes, and the people are standing around getting embarrassed. Everybody was. And finally, she turned around and she stomped away. And I'm kind of like in shock. And a woman next to me turns around and looks up and says, you named it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do a walk around, sure, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, this is not the first one that you've restored. Is this number seven or eight? What this is it? number eight. Okay. This is number eight. We've been making them all on American LaFlance platforms. In fact, this is the newest one. It's only 101 years old. And you're looking at... 101 years old. 101 years old. Wow. The other ones are 110, 12, 5. This is kind of an interesting piece on the headlights. I just found these, and they are made by H. W. Uh, w. H. Morehouse in Pasadena. Well, when I got them, they had on one headlight, it was marked 1915 and the MB. So 13-inch headlights, this had to be something really special. And in Pasadena, I think it was probably something like on one of Max Sennett's cars or one of the Harold Lloyd, one of these big deals, because this was an expensive, expensive automobile in those days, and these headlights are very, very special. Nobody knows what anything about them. This the is the exhaust system. system. This is actually a water heater that's 120 years old. It was made for the uh, Argentine market in Germany. And I just, I was able to get it, and we pull out the center part where the coils went, and I cut a ball in half, and we made a canister inside, and this is your exhaust system. It's awesome. It's just a lot of fun. And, uh, well, you've really given it a lot of a tribute, attention to detail to sort of the Italian heritage. Absolutely. Uh, and have done an amazing, amazing job with the detail. Uh, looks like we got some fuel distribution here going no, actually, on. Actually, this is the oilers. Oh, it is here. the oilers. It okay. goes down to oil the chain and then it soups over to the other side. In 1913, this particular car in Ostend, Belgium, went one way at 132.4 miles an hour when they thought your face would blow off. I mean, it, this this just grabbed my imagination. Well, you can't have a beast without some of no, these fins no, here, right? Yeah. Make it a little fun. So That's we give it. the yeah, beast a, a tail. Made out of nice uh, teak, teak wood, yeah. But now the lady in the car, Kira, she's, she's just maintains the beast. She gives it a little hell here. My very highly technical wooden stick that I put on the, the rights to build them. And what they've done is added an extra two two pistons, which are five and a half inches up. You know, they're softly big. And it's uh, 900 cubic inches, wow. 14 liters. Wow. And then people say, wow, that's awfully big. How much horsepower has it got? And you say, a whole hundred and you can see them go oh 100 horsepower but i said wait a minute there's two kinds of horsepower this one has the horsepower that you tie a rope around a hundred horses pull them over and drag them up a hill that's true horsepower that is what nice we have. and torquey 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 the torque is what we want from the lafrance absolutely yes.
folks watching, where will you be over the next few months? Of course, this is car show season all over the country. Where can folks find you? Oh, we're in we're in uh, uh, Los Angeles in the San Fernando Valley, but we we go to anything with this, within a couple hundred, three hundred miles if it's a good show, and we like to show our cars. And, nice. And if you walk up and smile when you see this car, I won because that's what it was designed to do, is to make people happy and get your endorphins up. Smile when you see it. So this is what we do.